Hi Bestie, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing pretty, pretty much amazing. As you might know, I'm currently trying to... Wait, I need to speak into the camera. All right, so this was almost very, very bad. It almost fell down. I have those two lampshades above my kitchen counter. They look a little plain and I wanted to crochet a little shade, a little cover. And I wanted to show you actually how that works. Without further ado, let's get this done. Let's get my kitchen crocheted up. By the way, how beautiful is this light? I'm so obsessed with the light in my apartment. I could cry all day. <laughs> Hey bestie, so yesterday I, I started working on the crochet cover for the lampshade but it turned out I didn't like it that much. I was trying a bit of like a granny square checkered pattern, something like that, that I can mix together on the lampshade but it turned out like very stretchy and so I thought I'm gonna do something else and I did some research actually and found like a way how you can turn or upcycle it um, with yarn actually and by just wrapping it around. So I'm um, currently working on this lampshade um, it looks like this. I just finished one of the lampshades. It's looking absolutely amazing. I love how the yarn is like structuring around um, the base like and how it's like structured and how it's been wrapped around and I thought I'm going to tell you how this is actually working because um, I'm going to do another one another lampshade because I have two in my kitchen and um, with a different color it's very very easy it's super fast and um, I love the outcome actually <laughs> I'm using 50 grams of yarn of each color. Since I'm using brown in both lampshades, I'm gonna have like, I'm gonna use 100 grams of the brown one and 50 grams of the other colors. You're gonna need some scissors, some hot glue, a wool needle and the lampshade actually. I got it from Ikea. It's like the most cheap, like the cheapest one of Ikea and it's also very small. And that's basically it. <laughs> the base like there are two rings put together with a connection in between them I glued like the connection to the ring because um, I experienced actually I started working on it and it collapsed while I was working on it so before we start the wrapping process you need to know there is like a top ring and a bottom ring and the top ring is slightly smaller than the bottom ring we need to consider that in the wrapping process. That means that I went ahead actually tying a knot to the upper ring. Then I went down to the bottom ring, twisted it around twice and then went up from the back to the top ring again. Twisted it around the top ring only once and then went back down again to the bottom ring and twisted it around twice. So each time I go down to the bottom ring, I twist it twice around the bottom ring and go up. And when I go up for the second time, I twist it again twice on the upper ring as well. That means we're gonna twist it twice every second time on the upper ring and twist it twice every single time on the bottom ring, if that makes sense. So these, this is actually how this works and you get like this pretty pattern. I also saw some pictures like of people using different type of yarn. So they have like a huge complex of different yarn. It's, I think it's like a very good project as well if you want to, yeah, use up your old scraps of yarn. <laughs>
when you're done actually you clean up the yarn that's just the last step so we clean up the yarn by taking the wool needle and just weave it in I'm gonna hang it up right now so these are the two lampshades that I worked on one is mint one is purple and both are brown and I absolutely love how they go so well together that's basically it it is so simple and I think it looks so good in the end so let me hang them up for you guys and we can judge together if we like the end result or not. Like, are these on the same level? How do we like it? That was the very simple tutorial I wanted to share with you guys because I have like the feeling it is so fast and so easy. As like a passionate crocheter, I have like the feeling this is a must have to have in your apartment. I can't wait actually to see all your results. No, I'm just kidding. But if you like this tutorial, feel free to give it some, some thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe for more DIY videos in the future. Um, I can't wait to be back in the next video. I'm gonna go into Christmas break right now. So there won't be any re videos in the next upcoming two weeks, but I promise I will be back with new cool ideas. I already have a very, very, very cool idea what I, I, I want to add to this corner actually. Um, but I'm going to tell you in the next year and I can't wait to be back in the next year with a new video. And uh, yeah, I see you soon. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day. Whenever you're watching this video, have a good morning, good morning night or good evening whatever i love you and i see you soon bye bye i'm out ciao ciao